From colonial landmarks to industrial era mansions, Connecticut is home to a rich variety of historical treasures that offer a glimpse into the state's past. Hi everyone, I'm Amber with Greater Travel and Connecticut is where it's at for historical sites. So if you're a history buff, grab your camera and join us on a journey through time. And if you like this video, click those like and subscribe buttons to let us know you want more. Number 10 on our list, is the Lockwood Matthews Mansion Museum. This museum is not only a beautifully preserved piece of architecture, but it also played an important role in the history of Norwalk and the surrounding area. The mansion was owned by wealthy financier Le Grand Lockwood, who was instrumental in the development of the railroad in Connecticut. The mansion served as a hub for social events and was visited by many famous figures in the Gilded Age, including P.T. Barnum and Mark Twain. Visitors can take a guided tour of the mansion and learn about the history of the Lockwood and Matthews families, as well as the cultural and social events that took place in the mansion during its heyday. Additionally, the museum hosts a variety of events and programs throughout the year, including art exhibits, lectures, and holiday celebrations. Number nine is the Webb Dean Stevens Museum in Wethersfield. The Webb Dean Stevens Museum is one of Connecticut's premier historic sites and offers visitors a unique and immersive experience of colonial life in New England. The three homes that make up the museum are all original to the 18th century and have been carefully restored and furnished with period pieces to provide an authentic glimpse into the past. The Silas Dean House, for example, was the residence of a wealthy merchant and diplomat who played a key role in the American Revolution. Visitors can see the home's elegant furnishings and learn about Dean's political and social influence during this critical time in American history. In addition to guided tours of the homes, the museum also offers a range of educational programs and special events, such as historic cooking demonstrations, craft workshops, and lectures on colonial history and culture. Number eight is Fort Griswold Battlefield State Park in Groton. Fort Griswold Battlefield State Park is an important site for anyone interested in Connecticut's military history. The park is home to a well-preserved fort that played a significant role in the Revolutionary War. The fort's strategic location on high ground overlooking the Thames River made it an important target for British troops who attacked it in 1781. The ensuing battle was one of the bloodiest of the war and resulted in a decisive British victory. Today, visitors to the park can tour the fort, which has been restored to its 1781 appearance, and learn about the events of that fateful day. The museum at the park offers exhibits and artifacts related to the battle, as well as the history of the fort and the role it played in the Revolutionary War. For those interested in military history, the park hosts living history events and reenactments throughout the year, which offer an immersive and educational experience of colonial military life. Number seven is the Nathan Hale Homestead in Coventry. The homestead is not only a beautiful historic site, but it is also a tribute to one of Connecticut's most famous patriots. Nathan Hale's story is one of bravery, patriotism, and sacrifice, and the homestead offers a unique opportunity to learn more about this iconic figure in American history. Visitors can take a guided tour of the home and see the original furnishings and artifacts that were used by the Hale family. The site also features a visitor center which offers exhibits and educational materials about Hale's life and legacy, as well as the history of the American Revolution. In addition to tours, the Nathan Hale Homestead hosts a variety of events throughout the year, including lectures, workshops, reenactments, which provide a deeper understanding of Hale's impact on American history. Number six is the Roseland Cottage in Woodstock. Roseland Cottage is a true gem of Connecticut's historic sites and a must visit for anyone interested in the Victorian era. The mansion was built by Henry Chandler, Bowen, a prominent businessman and abolitionist, and was designed by Joseph C. Wales, a noted architect of the Gothic Revival style. The house features a striking pink exterior with green shutters, and its interiors are adorned with intricate woodwork, stained glass windows, and elegant furnishings. Visitors can take a guided tour of the mansion and learn about its history, as well as the life and work of Bowen and his family. The site also includes beautiful gardens, which were designed by Frederick Law Olmsted, the famous landscape architect behind New York City's Central Park. 
Visitors can also attend concerts, craft fairs, and holiday celebrations, which offer a unique and immersive experience of Victorian-era life throughout the year. Number five on the list is the Weir Farm National Historic Site in Wilton. This historic site is a must-visit destination for those interested in both art and nature. The site is a 60-acre park that was once the home of three generations of American artists. The farm's idyllic surroundings and picturesque landscapes served as inspiration for numerous paintings by its residents, including Julian Alden Weir, one of the founders of American Impressionism. Visitors can take a guided tour of the farm's historic buildings, which include the Weir House and the studio of J. Alden Weir, and see the artist's tools, furnishings, and personal belongings. The site also features beautiful gardens, including a rose garden and an herb garden, which provide a peaceful retreat from the hustle and bustle of everyday life. For those interested in art, the site offers a variety of programs and workshops throughout the year, including painting classes, exhibitions, and lectures, which provide a deeper understanding of American art history and techniques. Whether you are an art lover or a nature enthusiast, the Weir Farm National Historic Site is a unique and inspiring destination that should not be missed. Number four is Gillette Castle State Park in East Haddam. Gillette Castle State Park is a fascinating destination for lovers of mystery and medieval architecture. The castle was designed by William Gillette, a famous actor who is best known for his portrayal of Sherlock Holmes on stage. Gillette spent six years designing and building the castle, which is perched atop a hill overlooking the Connecticut River. The castle's interior features intricate woodwork, stained glass windows, and hidden passageways that are sure to delight visitors of all ages. Gillette's love of gadgetry is also on display with hidden doors, secret panels, and an intricate telephone system that runs throughout the castle. Visitors can take a guided tour of the castle and learn about Gillette's life and work, as well as the castle's unique architectural features. The site also includes beautiful gardens and trails that offer stunning views of the Connecticut River Valley. For those interested in the supernatural, the castle is said to be haunted by Gillette himself, who is rumored to have left a secret message hidden within its walls. Gillette Castle State Park is a unique and fascinating destination that should not be missed. Number three on the list is Mystic Seaport Museum in Mystic, Connecticut. Mystic Seaport Museum is a fascinating destination that provides visitors with an immersive experience of Connecticut's rich maritime history. The museum covers 19 acres and features more than 60 historic buildings, including a recreated 19th century seafaring village, a working shipyard, and several historic ships that have been restored to their original condition. Visitors can explore the museum's numerous exhibits on maritime history, including whaling, shipbuilding, navigation, and seafaring life. They can also take a ride on one of the museum's historic vessels, including the 1841 whale ship Charles W. Morgan, the last wooden whaling ship in the world. In addition to its exhibits, the museum also hosts a variety of events throughout the year, including maritime festivals, concerts, and workshops. For those interested in maritime history and the seafaring way of life, the Mystic Seaport Museum is a must-visit destination that offers a unique and educational experience. Number two on the list is the Harriet Beecher Stowe Center in Hartford. This center is a national historic landmark that preserves the home of Harriet Beecher Stowe, a prominent author and activist who played a pivotal role in the abolitionist and women's rights movements. Visitors can take guided tours of the restored Victorian Gothic style house and learn about Stowe's life, her family, and her work as an author and activist. The center also features exhibits and programs that explore the history of slavery, the Underground Railroad, and the fight for civil rights in America. Additionally, the center offers educational programs for students and teachers, including workshops, lectures, and field trips. For those interested in history, literature, and social justice, the Harriet Beecher Stowe Center is a valuable destination that offers insight into the life and work of one of America's most influential authors and activists. And last but not least, number one on our list is the Mark Twain House and Museum in Hartford. This beautiful Victorian mansion was the home of the famous American author Mark Twain from 1874 to 1891. Today, visitors can tour the house and learn about Twain's life and work, as well as explore exhibits on the history of the house and the Hartford community. 
Don't miss the chance to see Twain's famous writing desk and the charming third floor billiard room where he wrote many of his most famous works. From grand mansions to colonial homes, military battlegrounds to artist retreats, Connecticut has something to offer for history buffs and curious visitors alike. So next time you're in Connecticut, be sure to check out these top 10 historical sites and explore the state's fascinating past for yourself. If you liked this video and you want to see more similar content, subscribe to Greater Travel and click the bell to be notified when future videos are uploaded. Be sure to comment, I subscribed, and we will do our best to respond to everyone who does. Thanks for watching. Come back next time to discover your journey.